Hi, welcome back to Third Rate Content. Today we're in Shropshire and we're going for a bit of a walk and explore of uh, Morton Corbett Castle. Let me just have a little look at this uh, here church. The church is St Mary's Church, as you can see Acton Burnell Castle in the background. Um, we'll just have a little walk around it. This looks like a very ancient drinking fountain, uh, trough or drinking fountain, or could have been from a church. Who knows? A bit old. St. Mary's Parish Church in Acton Bernal, interior. Commissioned to be built by Robert Bernal and built between the years of 1275 and 1280 in red Shropshire sandstone. This fantastic vaulted ceiling done in the late 1500s. You see the red sandstone on display. This, this absolutely elaborate tomb is of Sir for Sir Richard Lee, who passed away in 1591 and is a direct ancestor of the Confederate General Robert E. Lee, who served in the US Civil War. Here comes the Robert E. Lee. The bad thing in the side. Robert E. Lee was a general in the Confederate Army in the US Civil War in the 1860s. The detail on this tomb is absolutely flabbergasting. I could have spent an hour just looking at it. My camera does not do it justice. From the 1300s, uh, Sir Nicholas Burnell, possibly the son or grandson of... Uh, Robert. Another fantastic memorial. The detail again is quite something. So here are the medieval mosaic tiles from the 13th century. They look a little bit, I don't know if it's through um, wear on the other tiles, but some of them almost don't look in sequence, like they've been replaced at a later date, but um, not not on the plan, not with the pattern. Yeah, I don't mean re replaced, I mean sort of restored, possibly. Another American hero, and you can see the 1200, 1200s rosettes on the plaster walls. Exactly, I imagine how they would have looked in the medieval times. Being closer to Acton Burnell Fortified Manor, but one more stop first. Yes, this is the Acton Burnell Catholic Cemetery, right next to the uh, St Mary's Church and ABC, Acton Burnell Castle. Just having a bit of a look at some of the very weathered gravestones, very aged. There's also one or two new ones in there, but dating right back to 1700s. 
interesting sort of symbol, sig sigil on this one. Commissioned to be built in 1284 by Robert Vanell, the best friend of um, Edward I and the Bishop of Bath and Wells. So, Robert Burnell, very important man and a bishop for a long time. One of the top bishops in the land in the 1200s. Friends with the king, as we said, but he never became Archbishop of, Archbishop of Canterbury. And that is thought to be because Robert Brunel had too many illegitimate children to make him really credible as the Archbishop of Canterbury. But he was important enough to have a fortified manor house, so he was doing pretty well. Robert Burnell was granted a royal license to crenellate and fortify the manor on 28th of January 1284. Um, Acta Burnell Castle was never actually a castle. It was always a fortified manor. But it was on the board, it is still in the border country between England and Wales, and especially in the 1200s medieval time, it was a rough, a rough place to be. So you'd want your manor fortified. Plus, Edward I used to call by with his retinue and uh, entourage. So you'd want it, you know, being able to accommodate. habitation area fireplaces it's quite elaborate really and I don't think that ceiling is original but it's been restored in a sympathetic and original style I think this would have been one of the main halls it's almost like a keep I'll call it a keep at or a pocket keep but as you can see, it's separated from the two towers, corner towers. As you can see here in the outer wall, evidence of a, an archway or uh, enough for a carriage to pass through. I'm wondering if this was filled in when uh, Acton Bunnell Castle became a barn towards the end of its active life. But I'm thinking that at some point previously, the arch had been made after the medieval period. I don't think it may have had this originally. Um, after Robert Bunnell, Acton Bunnell Castle had quite a few owners. Um, one of the families who held it in the 1600s towards the end of its um, past down lineage life was the Smythe family. Got it from the 1600s. The Smythe family built this fine Georgian manor. Kind of was the successor to Acton Bunnell Castle and is now Concord International College. And this is the gable end of the Great Barn that was thought to be the first parliament in English history and the world history held by Edward I in uh, 1283. All that's left is the gable end of it now. But I'm not under any illusion. The first parliament was really between barons and uh, other nobility and didn't really benefit the peasants of the day. But it was the first parliament to have a commons. This massive tree growing right next to the tower here, they're cohabiting together and its roots don't actually seem to be going under the tower despite the tree's massiveness and the, uh, the tower and this is arch is opposite the um, arch I showed that was filled in. This is the other side of it. Like I said, I think these are these may. I'm not sure, but they may have been added after because the arches are made of brick, and brick wasn't available in the UK, or England, until the 1500s. But the the actual wall has been filled in the masonry in a very sympathetic style to the medieval. Um, nature of the castle or the fortified manor. So that was the third rate content 
walk and explore to Acton Burnell Castle and St Mary's Church in uh, Acton Burnell. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, by all means do share. Thanks for watching to the end. Well, if I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. See you.